Hey y'all, SEMA 2017 and I got a 58 cab over slammed to the ground I think y'all gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. David, thanks so much for giving me some time to tell me about this uh, cool truck y'all had out at SEMA. Oh, you're welcome. We appreciate you giving us a call and letting us talk about it. Tell me, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about it. So we, last year we decided we would do a build for SEMA and uh, we wanted to do something that no one had ever seen. I mean, we, you know, it's that you walk past hundred thousand dollar cars, two hundred thousand dollar cars, and you never give them a second look because there's there's a hundred of them out there. So we wanted to do something really original. We manufactured the product of Vapor Rust, rust remover, and we also wanted to highlight what a Vapor Rust could do. So um, we found a, a 1958 uh, Chevy Viking uh, 40, which is the one ton farm truck that uh, had sat under some trees since the 1970s. And uh, we used the cab off of it. We pulled the cab off uh, solid rust. We de-rusted it with a vapor rust to show that you can de-rust this items and it will remove the rust, but it doesn't damage anything underneath. So it left the original paint, whatever paint was good underneath that rust was still there. And uh, so that we could demonstrate how that looked. And it, we clear coated over the top of that. And then we had a young builder named Travis Ball from uh, Ball Metal Fabrication. He designed the back end of the truck and started on our journey of building it crazier and crazier. So that's how we uh, that's how we found the truck, and uh, uh, we're really happy with how it turned out. So basically, the truck that you found, you just used the cab, and then uh, Travis has custom made everything else below that. He did, yes. Even the interior is custom. Uh, basically, it is the metal shell of the uh, of the truck cab, hood, fenders, and uh, front clip, and that's that's it. That's original to the truck. Well, what Chevrolet made wasn't the interesting part about it. It's what comes behind what Chevrolet made. Tell me about all that work back there. Well, the uh, the frame is uh, designed on a computer program, and uh, Travis put it together. It is uh, a hollow uh, channel and with a cover on the outside with dimple dies in it that was two-toned. Really fantastic frame. Uh, and then on top of the frame, uh, we put a uh, Duramax 6.6 diesel uh, that uh, we got out of a, uh, a wreck from a 2003 Chevrolet truck. And uh, it's bone stock except the top end's been rebuilt to handle the extra horsepower. And then, the, except for the top, the intercooler, uh, turbos. Garrett Turbo, we'd love to thank them. They're amazing turbos. Man, the way you got, let me stop you there real quick. The way that he set those up, they look like the, the thing's sitting on a dyno. I mean, the turbos almost look like they're just suspended in midair there. That's, that's some of Travis Ball's imagination. Those are, it's a, it's a cool setup. You look, not many people have seen that before. From the turbos going down to that intercooler, the intercooler is one of a kind. It is the only, literally the only one of its kind in the world. Uh, 417 Motorsports in Springfield, Missouri built that for us. They've been doing it's an air to water cooler, and they've been doing it for race cars, uh, gasoline race cars, where you've got uh, the air coming in from the turbos hot, and then it's going through a water intercooler that is run off of the air conditioner. Uh, so that we didn't have to plumb water all the way to the front of the radiator, cool it off, and then plumb it all the way back. It's cooled right there at the air conditioner. It comes right back. There's a holding tank, and it drops that water from uh, so the air coming in from the, from the uh, turbos is you know, maybe 500 degrees. It drops it down to a little over 100, 150 right in there. Uh, gives you a lot more horsepower. Holy smokes, that's a lot of reduction in... Uh heat temperature in it really a short period of time almost instantly i mean it is cool yeah that's amazing you can suck 400 degrees out of something almost instantly it, it's a uh, it's it's a real work of engineering they they developed that like i said how much horsepower are you getting out of that oh uh, we we have not put it on a dyno yet but uh we've estimated it probably right now 550 to 600 i mean we didn't rebuild the lower end of that thing so it's it can't be over 600 I mean, if we wanted to we could run it up. Those those two turbos are rated for 600 horsepower a piece. Uh, so you know, a thousand horsepower would be well within its you know, operating capacity. But we wanted something that would be drivable, 
uh, we didn't want to drag race it. So we're gonna we're probably gonna leave it at where it is right now. Man, I wouldn't change a thing. Tell me uh, these wheels too. And again, in the video, it's hard to tell. Is that a solid, uh, like a super single back there, or are those two duels? That's two duels. Those are American Force uh, 2018. Uh, they were kind enough to make those for us. They are, uh, man, they're sharp. No, dude, that is just a really awesome truck. I didn't get to, I didn't, again, I didn't get to shoot any of uh, the, the clip. There's no, is there anything up under the hood? There is nothing under the hood. Uh, when we had it taken to uh, FEMA, there was absolutely nothing under the hood. But after we've gotten it back, we put in a pan for luggage outside, our luggage compartment. Oh, how cool is that? And then I didn't get to see the interior. Is the interior all finished out, or is it kind of uh, rustic? Oh, yeah. No, it's perfect. Okay. No, no, it is it is completely custom. Uh, we, a guy in Kansas City, we sent the, actually just took the cab by itself up there, and he put the, uh, I mean, a complete leather, hand-stitched, uh, black, uh, one-of-a-kind interior in that thing, and it is gorgeous with it. So this thing's really just built to cruise down the road. Now that you've got a place to put your luggage, you can drive it anywhere you want to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's, uh, no, it's on air ride, so we can drop it down low, or, or it'll, or we made some adjustments to it after we got it back from SEMA. We can get it up now to nine inches off the ground, so we can actually clear some things. It's designed to cruise at about three inches off the ground. Oh, brother, this is... Careful where you go in, but... Yeah, now this is uh, this is one that had a bunch of people out at SEMA talking, and obviously I shot the video. I was so I'm glad that uh, we were able to finally get together and do a little interview because um, there's a lot on that truck that you just don't realize. I mean, when you walk up to it, of course, the motor and the turbo and the big wheels and all take you over. But when you really soak this thing in, I mean, what a cool build! I mean, you, Travis, everybody, everybody involved in this. Congratulations, y'all nailed this one. Thank you, Scotty. I'm glad you you, uh, you called it. You're right. I mean. You stood there for half an hour. You still find some things and go, "Wow, I didn't even see that." Uh, it it is it has multiple multiple hours, over a thousand hours in it of just hand detail work. Like the uh, on the back of that uh, uh, between the tubs where those plates are, every one of those bolts and those bolt patterns is hand polished. Uh, there is there is so much detail work in this. Uh, Travis did an amazing job. Cool. Well, again, David, thanks so much for giving me the time this morning. And, dude, next time you come up with a good idea, follow it. Because the last one was a great idea. This truck is awesome, brother. Oh, good. Thank you very much, Scotty. I appreciate your time. Thank you. So there you go from the SEMA show 2017. I called it a cab over. Of course, I don't ever claim to know nothing. It's a 1958 Viking something farm truck it's way cool is what it is now hope y'all enjoyed it see ya hey y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos i have posted either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video